It's pulled away. Pulled away and all the way. It seemed like he was waiting for the shot, this delivery. And he pounced on it. And that was first six of the series. Right from the middle of the bat, he was well in control. Gurbaz. It's around chest high. Have a good bouncer, you get above shoulder high, above head high. That's where the batter loses control of the face of the bat. But as soon as it's chest high... Oh, that is... That is good from uh, Gurbaz. Just using the angle, helping the ball on its way. And he picks up second boundary of the over. That's good going. Just not sure Harris Ralph was back in his position that Baba Razam wanted him in. He had just returned from looking the ball, looking for the ball in the covers and got back on the ground and Shaheen Shah Afridi was in at him. And he found himself just a touch square. Pulled again. Nearly a very similar result, but he was onto this quickly because it wasn't that short. Well, this is what Ramanola Gurbaz can do. You give him something a little bit loose and he'll put you away. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't that short. Uh, yes, fix our outside edge. But 8 out of 10 for the effort and it's a boundary. One bounce over the rope. That is a good sweep shot. I think there was an element of, well, not playing the one with the straight bat too well. Let's think about the sweep shot. It was pretty straight, that's for sure, but he's gone on length and he's gone and backed his ability to play this shot. When in doubt, play the sweep. As I say, so this was managed brilliantly. Good roll of the race and playing it down away from that fielder at square leg. Drives, gets it on. Half century for Gurbaz. Will be applauded by his teammates. A brilliant innings under pressure. Looking for redemption, he has provided the kind of redemption that Afghanistan required. Though slowest of his half centuries. He will take it. Rahmanul Agurbaz having faced 72 deliveries to bring up his third 50 of his ODI international career. Down the track. Tremendous stroke. It's gone for six. That is a very strong intent shown from Rahmanul Agurbaz. Comes down the track. Plays it with the bounce. Look at this. Ball follows the ball through and plays it high and handsome. I can't stop but think about Ravi Chandar Ashwin saying that he used to bowl to Virinder Sehwag and Sehwag would say that I do not even, I mean, bother considering that you could get me out. So a huge shot by Ram Lagur boss, a drag down by Usama. And that went the long way. The massive stroke to a settled batsman like Gurbaz. He's not going to miss out. A brilliant maximum. We've seen him come down the wicket already to spin, but here he uses his feet the other way. Just a little push off the front foot so that he can clear his left-hand side. Gets a good swing of the bat. He doesn't hit small sixes either, Ramanula Gurbaz. He hits them a long way. That one, 82 meters. That's gone up in the air. It has gone wide of deep square leg. It has gone for four. Yeah, you're right. He has pulled the ball quite well. When as a batsman you start to pull the ball in front of square, it means you're sighting the ball early, you're getting into good positions. And well in control of that stroke. Moves to 90s. Gurbaz. He's gone for it this time. He's going to have to hurry yeah. through. The misfield makes it very, very easy indeed. What an innings this has been. They've come back from the brink. They've come back from a horrible defeat two days ago to post 178 without loss for this opening partnership. And Raman Gurbaz has made his 100 with great style, great confidence, great ability. What a magic moment that is for him.
Uh, with his effort, he has certainly lifted the entire Afghan team. Everybody is so happy for him. Getting a hundred against the Pakistani bowling attack is not a joke. He was looking for the ball before he goes straight away. He knows he's got just enough time to race through. The misfield, of course, made it even easier. You can see how much that means to him. So a personal goal, but a very, very important innings for that team as well. Horribly beaten in game number one. They've played themselves into a very good position here. Oh, what's he done this time? He's managed to find the boundary, scooped it over the, the man at 45 degrees, but on the edge of the circle. So good awareness of where the field is, good awareness of what you can do. Now he's got it into T20 mould. Gurbaz premeditating, getting the ball in the zone and executing that stroke perfectly once again. Well, I'll tell you why that was so special as well, because Ralph had also followed him. Uh, over there. Chipped over mid-wicket. Chipped over a wide of long on, had he been there. So successive boundaries and real problems here for Barbara Azam, who's wondering what on earth do I have to do to place this field? And also the bowler, the first one, uh, the slow one went for a boundary, seam up delivery going for a boundary. Uh, confusing for the bowler at the moment. Noth nothing is working. And both these batters are on top at the moment. Well, the short ball is dealt with even more emphatically. That is three boundaries in a row. One innovative, one clever, and this one, well, it's just smacks it. Yeah, now he's dealing with the bowlers with a lot of disdain. He was dismissive with that stroke. Once again, pulling the ball in front of square. Uh, superb batting, superb batting from Gurbaz. All oh, that's guided away very fine. Four and four. And the deft touch. Power. Oh, this man is highly talented, Gurbaz. And he's showing Pakistan. Each of these boundaries has been different. Just proving the array of his talents. And although Harris Ralph tried to take the pace off, Great shot, great drive into the gap for four. This is lovely batting. He's finding new angles and he's middling everything now. Now gave himself some room, wanting to uh, bisect that gap through extra cover and mid off. And perfectly did. Nassim Shah going full into a river swing. But the batsman who has scored 100 is not going to miss out on that opportunity. This smart batting. Gotcha. There is that slock sweep, gets it past the man at deep. Shine Shafridi could only watch it sail across, one bounce over the fence. <laughs> Terrific strike from Gurbaz. He's pushing on to a 150 here. Smart batting. Remember, we're in second power play still. Only four feelers can be outside the circle. And the big gap, there has to be a gap, either long on or mid wicket. And this time, Gurbaz was equal to the task. Fantastic shot. And 300 is very much on the cards. Once again, head down. He runs hard, Gurbaz. He picks up two. 150 for Gurbaz. It's been a lot of sweat, a lot of hard work, a lot of class. And it's turning out to be a great innings. An opener getting you a 150 against Pakistan. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Deserves all the accolades, the applause, and congratulated there by Shadab Khan.